Hello, my name is Lisa Michelle. I like creating content to help new and aspiring entrepreneurs start their very first online business. So today I'm going to talk about 20 digital products that you can sell on Etsy or any other platform for that matter. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get right into it. Now, the first one is, of course, checklists. And you can create any type of checklist. This is a very general um, category. You see their cleaning schedules, their blank checklists, their wedding checklists, moving checklists. Anything that you can create that will help someone get through a process will sell on Etsy. Now you see when I pull this up, how many results come up. So you definitely don't want to just put checklist as your title, of course, but just to give you a general category, checklist is definitely a good um, idea. If you're just getting started and you want to create something you know, pretty simple. Number two would be planner pages and they're all different types of planner pages as well. But for this one, I kind of niched down a little bit and did a search for travel planner pages. And when you pull that up, you'll see that there are planner pages for, you know, itineraries, for people who are planning a trip to, you know, a particular theme park. Um, you have to be careful to not, you know, get in trouble using other brand names, but you get the idea. You can create any type of itinerary or travel vacation planner and it'll help people when they're getting on the road you can print it out and take it with them very easy number three would be trackers and again you'll see there are a lot of search results for trackers so you definitely want to niche down but you can do a habit tracker you can do uh, like a medication uh, tracker mood tracker debt tracker they're all different types of trackers here so you can create these on you know, in a software like Canva or um, if you're using Affinity Designer, you can use something like that or Publisher and they don't have to be very complicated. You can even download templates for these types of things from you know, websites like Creative Fabrica, Creative Market and things like that. You can just kind of customize it for your business. All right. The next one would be workbooks or worksheets. And these are very popular. You can sell these in all different types of niches and you can sell, you know, uh, business to business for people who are uh, coaches, or you can just, you know, use them for your, for your own personal use, but they're very helpful for people who are planning, you know, different courses and they want to be able to have their, you know, their students follow along with a worksheet or workbook. So they're very helpful because it does save them the time of having to create them themselves. All right, the number five is wine labels. And they're all different types of occasions where you can create uh, wine labels. You can do it for someone who just graduated, someone who's maybe just turning 21, uh, someone who's getting married, all different types of occasions. So there are a lot out there. So you have to just find your niche and then you know just try to cater to your niche to try to separate yourself from the competition but wine labels are pretty easy to make and um, they're really nice and you can sell them as printables or you can ship them if you want but either way they're really these are really nice number six is house plan so if you're able to draw up a floor plan or I mean just a house plan in general you can sell them on Etsy and they're all different types. I've seen someone here for greenhouses, for tiny houses, um, sheds. If so, if you have that skill, or if you know someone that has that skill, and they can, you know, draw them for you, and you can sell them on Etsy, that's definitely um, a niche that you may want to consider. So I don't know how often they sell, but um, yeah, if you didn't know they had them on there, now you knew. All right. Next one would be number seven, Tumblr templates. And some of these are selling really well. Um, again, because there are so many just like Tumblr templates on here in general, you'd have to find your niche. Like this person is selling them for nurses. So you definitely want to find, you know, your, your people, your tribe, your sub niche. And, you know, once you find that passionate group of people, 
who you know likes to celebrate whatever their zodiac sign their uh profession their sorority or fraternity whatever it is once you find your niche you can just cater to them and you can just you can open up a whole shop just selling tumblers so that's a thought so you don't want to you know buy theirs and copy it unless they give you commercial rights but it's just an idea. If you want to create your own and sell them on here, you can do that. Okay. Number eight is biography templates. So for people who are um, creating a biography to include with, you know, with their resume package, or if they're presenting somewhere and they've got to actually, you know, submit a biography, there are people who will buy a template and there are a lot of resume templates on here as well. And resume templates do well on Etsy too. So if you're someone that's good at writing resumes and you can create a template for someone else to kind of just edit, that might be um, a good business option for you as well. Number nine is email signature templates. So if you want to have, you know, a really nice Gmail email signature, you can do a template for someone. They can just add their own image and put their name and contact information. And it just makes it really easy. So if you need one for yourself, you can go on Etsy and buy one for yourself. Or if you want to sell them um, in your own business, that's also um, an idea. And they don't look like they're too hard to design if you have an eye, you know, for that type of thing. Because they would have to look professional. People using them for, you know, professional websites and professional emails. Okay. Number 10, swipe files. So these are in large part um, templates for, you know, people who have an email list and they just don't either have the time or they don't really know what to put in their emails to their subscriber list or if they're selling something and they've got a funnel and they want to be able to funnel people from, you know, a lead magnet or a freebie to a product or course. You don't know what to put in the subject line or headlines or in each email. You can go in here and buy templates for for your email sequences and they're they're swipe files. So if you need suggestions or ideas on what to put in your emails, then, you know, it might be an idea um, to maybe purchase from someone who's selling on Etsy. And by the same token, if you're good at that, then this is something that you can sell to other people but not everyone is, is good at doing that. So that's definitely an idea. Number 11 is of course, invitations. So Etsy is well known for their invitations for weddings, birthdays, bar mitzvahs, whatever you can imagine. So if you are creative, you've got a creative eye, you can really come up with some unique invitations to really set yourself apart. So you can do the standard invitation, you know, with the pretty font and the flowers or, you know, something like this. This looks like a Super Bowl um, ticket. You know, um, when my daughter turned eight, I bought her invitation from Etsy and it looked like a carnival ticket. So if, you know, if you have that creative eye, you could think of something unique to put up there. That's definitely a good idea because people who need invitations and they don't want to do it themselves, but they want it to be custom made and really, really pretty or unique special they go to etsy so that's definitely um, an idea just be careful of uh you know copyright and trademark infringement you don't want to get yourself in trouble using you know images and and names when you're not really allowed to do that so just be careful with that but invitations are great number 12 are logs so again just like the trackers you can create a log to log pretty much anything um you know, medication, there are uh, fishing logs, hunting logs, um, password trackers, password logs, mileage logs for people who have to drive and track their mileage in the car, or if they're a trucker and they've got to track mileage, logs and trackers do very well on Etsy. So you just want to figure out some way to set yourself apart, of course. And, you know, again, it's just, they're not really that difficult to make. They're, you know, lines, horizontal lines, vertical lines. And that's something that you can create in a weekend on, um, I'm sure a lot of these are done on Etsy and you can list it and people can print it out and you've got yourself a nice printable. Okay. 
Number 13, um, pet adoption certificates. So who knew that you could get a, a dog adoption certificate on Etsy, but they are there. So you can do them for any pet. You can think of, you know, you can do them just for hamsters or whatever. Just try to make your shop stand out. But yeah, pet adoption certificates are, are selling pretty, pretty well on Etsy. So if that's something you're interested in, it's something that you think you can create, then go for it. Okay, these are adopt, pet adoption certificates. Number 14 are fonts. Um, there are a lot of people selling fonts on Etsy, but if you are, if you have an idea for a unique font, um, Hey, why not? There are different software or different programs out there, websites where you can create a font for free. So if that's something that you've been wanting to try, why not give it a shot? Come up with a unique one. And, you know, if you have to place an ad on Etsy to get yourself to get your first sale to stand out above everyone else, why not do that? Maybe a dollar a day, get your first few sales, get the momentum going, and you can stop the ads. But because there are so many fonts out here, um, you just want to be able to get your first few sales to kind of jump out in front of the crowd. Okay, but fonts are definitely popular on, on Etsy because people use them for you know, personal use and they use it for designing professional products that they're selling as well. All right, so fonts, that's another good idea. Um, also, if you're artistic, number 15 would be doodles. So I put in here hand-drawn heart doodles because there were so many that came up just under doodles. But look at that. That's just drawing, it's just hearts. So if you're able to, you know, doodle and make little hearts, um, you know, I could have put in hand-drawn arrows and and you would have seen the same thing. A lot of doodles that, that are, you know, arrows that people use in their designs. This is a bundle of 300 doodle hearts. So if you, you know, are artistic and you can create something like that, why not sell it and let someone else buy it and use it in their design? Look at that. These are, um, I forgot what you call these, these little hand-drawn lines. Um, but they're, they're not hard to make, I guess. I wouldn't attempt it because I'm not artistic. Like I can't draw at all. But if you could draw even just a little bit, you know, maybe this is something that you'd want to get into. But just go on Etsy, put in doodles and see what comes up. And then, you know, see if you can compete, see if you can and do some for yourself. All right. Number 16 are score sheets. So I put in card game score sheet just to kind of narrow it down a little bit. But if you play a game, do you play spades? Do you play this is the pinochle? Scrabble, Yahtzee. Um, again, I I don't know if I'd put the name of the game up there and sell it. Uh, yeah. But anyway, if, if you do play a game or if you know a game well enough to be able to create a score sheet, why not? Um, just create it. They don't look like they're too hard, but you would, of course, need to know the game. So you need to so you'd know what goes on the score sheet. But um yeah, that's something that you may want to, if you don't want to build a whole shop around it, just something to put out there and just see how it does. But they, they do sell on Etsy. All right, number 17 is party game printables. And you can do party games for any holiday or occasion. It can be for bachelorette parties. It could be for a birthday party, um, for Valentine's Day. I've seen New Year's Eve games. So some of these are definitely evergreen. Um, you just put it up there and they may sell more around a certain holiday, less around other times, but it's fine. You just post it. And then when it sells, it sells. But these do very well. And if you had, uh, you know, a niche where you sold things related to weddings, then of course you may want to do bridal shower, bachelorette, party games and things like that. Okay. So yeah. So think about that. Party game principles. Number 18 is professional office wall art. So I just put in pediatrician, again, just to narrow it down a little bit. But if you've been in a doctor's office and you've seen the art in there, um, you may notice that it may look like some of these. And if this is something that you can do, then, you know, why not try to do that? It doesn't have to be pediatricians. You could think of, you know, 
some other type of, of, of doctor, orthodontist or dermatology office wall art. And then just think of something unique that, you know, will stand out, something that they may be interested in. And um, yeah, try it out. You can even print one out and give it to your doctor to put in their office as a way to get eyeballs on your work. So maybe that's a nice gift for your doctor if you've been there for a while or you just like the doctor. And uh, if they take it and put it up, that's free promotion for you. But definitely wall art for professional offices is uh, a good idea for Etsy. And number 19 is branding kits. So I just put an intro and outro to kind of narrow it down a little bit. But so these are, some of them are YouTube channel, you know, intros and outros. Some of them are just branding kits. So you can create these for people who are starting their new, uh, starting a YouTube channel or people who are just starting a business and they need a branding kit to kind of get themselves out there. So again, if you've got that artistic eye and you can create something like that, why not put them in a bundle and then just list them? Because these, these are really nice. So if, if you're able to create something like this, um, why not go ahead and throw it up on Etsy or on your own website? And last but not least are football box templates. So if you've ever purchased a box for a football game or a playoff game or the Super Bowl, usually, then you'll know what these are. These are Super Bowl square templates and people will usually just kind of create their own on a big board. Um, but if you don't want to do that or you don't know how to do that or you just want it to look, you know, I guess, I don't know, neater or more professional, they have them on Etsy. So if you know how to create um, boxes for a Super Bowl, you may want to do that. Or if you have one already, even if you're able just to, you know, put it in a digital digital format. Why not just upload it to Etsy and see how it goes? Because some of these are selling really well already. And I, I have an idea that um, I think as Super Bowl approaches and gets closer, these are going to sell really well. So if it's something that you can do or something that you've already done, why not go ahead and just put it in your Etsy shop or, you know, put it in your new Etsy shop if that's something that you plan on doing. So that's it. So those are 20 digital products that you can sell on Etsy or on your website or any other platform. Um, if you like the video, you got anything out of it, I would appreciate it if you would like it. And if you have not subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. This way you'll know when I upload my next video. All right. So thank you so much for watching. And that's going to do it for me. And until next time, peace.